Oh, I actually do have a stand over here somewhere. So before I get started, let's put the phone where it belongs so that I don't drop it again. Hopefully, uh, y'all will come on in here and sit down with me for a minute because I'm just taking. Hey, Dana. Hey, Najeri. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Um, I'm fresh back from Haiti. Um, I went there to initiate uh, as a mambo and Haitian voodoo. And, you know, don't even inbox, okay? <laughs> People uh, kill me asking me all kinds of questions, but you know I cannot answer and I will not answer, okay? Um, but what I would tell you is this. That experience is life-changing. That experience will make you stronger as an individual. It's not about magical power, or taking advantage of people, or um, conquering your foes. I'm not saying that that our belief system, because it is not really just a religious way of life, and boy did I learn the way of life. Y'all have no idea. Even the problem is with being black in America is that we are under constant psychological distress and, uh, and abuse. It was nice to be in a place where there were all black people. Of course, I was the lightest bulb in the room. And um, <laughs> they still were very beautiful to me, you know. Um, they consider all of us from the states Blanco, which is a white person or a foreigner, but my house, the people in my mambo had initiating us, showed me more love than I've ever probably had in my entire life, and that's including my blood relatives. So, you know, um, yeah, I'm different. If you don't come out of that um, changed, something wrong with you. <laughs> and um, you learn what you're made of. You really do. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, now let's move on. I am, you know, um, a little travel weary. You know, you come back home and you try to like get the mundane back in order when you've been surrounded by magic and spirit for weeks and you come back here and you're like I gotta do this <laughs> so what we're not gonna do is I'm not gonna deal with customers who are um, acting a fool because their orders are a little bit late I had ladies here helping me in my absence oh my god so many good advice y'all can't see me I'm scratching my leg like a dog and then I'm kicking my other leg you know like ooh, that feels so good um, <laughs> my granddaughter can play dot to dot on 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 my legs because of my skeeter bites <laughs> um you learn to respect your food you were you learn to respect things that you didn't even know that you needed to respect <laughs> and if you don't get that from an initiation then you have been woefully misled um there's no other way i can explain that so um, you know, one of the things is, as I come back and I've decided that there are a few things that I have to do differently. So the first thing is I'm going to tell you all is I'm introducing on my page, 30 days of happiness. Um, one of the things that I was grateful to be away from was the constant onslaught of our slaughter here in this country. And it was you know, not ignoring it, but being able to concentrate on my spirit um, more than that. So I will be sharing with you, and I'm not usually like this, y'all know I'm not like this. <laughs> I'm like this now. Um, good vibes only, okay? Because you have no idea what you have, even in... You know, and it also depends on how you define success because a lot of us define it by material things. But I went to a country where people were living, thriving, intelligent, beautiful, creative. And they don't have nearly what we have here, materialistically. It also makes you more patient with things, people, because 
they don't operate on the whole American time. You know, the colored people time is real. CPT is real. <laughs> it's when everybody's ready. And honestly, time is a man-made construct. So, and studies, I'll just say something today. The studies show that people who are late are more successful and more smart. I don't know if that, I wouldn't use that as an excuse to be late. Okay? But, you know, on my page, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it positive. And it doesn't mean that I am ignoring what's going on with us in the world. But I want to give people maybe it's a piece of what I had so it could be like education you know kitty cats you know puppies memes <laughs> you know it's gonna be a mixture of those things for for a while because it's hard um it's hard being black here you know but guess what it's hard being black everywhere in the world and hey shadow you know um like I said I I can't explain what happened to me there, but I'm, I'm, I um, I hope that people who are called to do this, and like I said, I was called, I did not choose this. I didn't have a choice, um, you know, will speak to me or someone else that they trust if they're interested in, in pursuing this, um, because if you actually have what it takes, and there was times when I actually believed or thought or tried to to think that I couldn't um but if you think you have an idea you know that you can do this please let me know um you know I'm I'm behind on orders I'm not exactly yeah 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 that's right um no town witch you know when you when you step out of this reality you know <laughs> unplug from the matrix you start looking at things much differently. I already knew that before I left. Thank you, thank you, Ariel. But now that I'm back, so there's a ton of things that I have to do. I'm gonna try to call the people. I'm not sure exactly what happened because I did have help here when I was gone, but um, nobody's here right now, and I'm looking at all um, some orders that should have been out a while ago. Um, know that I'm going to work on them and get them done and get them to you this week. Um, Rachel, if you've got some time uh, this weekend, I would love your assistance if you could come by. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to come too, if you can get away. So we're going to handle some stuff here uh, as far as the business is concerned. And, and um, I'm going to ask a couple of the sisters from the circle to come help me get my laundry room together so I put my greenhouse back up so I can really get on growing some stuff uh, this year. So, um, it, you know, it's not been three weeks. It was 10 days. Thank you, Rachel. Um, and uh, there's, I have, you have to understand that people go, you know, I think this has a lot to do, unfortunately, with people who are not our culture initiating into our religions okay and not understanding the responsibility therein you know i have come back from this and you know maybe as time goes on when i get more stuck in the matrix again that i might lose track of that but i don't i don't actually see how i could um i don't see how i could lose track of this um the people that i went with were just amazing my mambo is amazing you know you want to not cry when you talk about stuff like this but um you know i'm having a little bit of a, a of a adjustment back into all of this you know so last night i got the family my granddaughter my daughters my cousin you know my, my friends who, who live here with me um, so, you know, got settled in back, got back home and everything's clean and beautiful. And I'm so grateful to Mother Love for that. And, um, but, um, and, you know, Jen also has a job. She found a job here, you know, in her efforts to get settled and get in Ohio. So, uh, we did run a little behind on orders and I'm going to get those done. But I also have a full-time job and it's my first day back and I'm like, <sighs> but we're going to do it because 
one thing I've learned is I, I kind of like talked it and always talk it to y'all, but I really, you know, sometimes you have to really, really, really learn those lessons for yourself. The only person that keeps you from doing things is you. Because while I can't tell you what I did in the Shevo, what I can tell you is that I beat impossible odds. I did things that I hadn't ever done, you know? I mean, ever. Is that you, Trinity? Okay, I'm doing a face. Okay, this thing is going wanky, and the child has just woke up. So, if you are my customer, and if you love me, give me a break, okay? Because um, the people who were here, they, they Jen was only here six days before I left, okay? So, the people who were helping, they don't know everything I know. It takes, I mean, ask my cousin Ashley, who's probably going to ring the doorbell before I finish this. It takes about a year, probably, to learn how to do everything here in the store and honestly you know is my efforts like i don't like doing it this was un this was something that was absolutely necessary um i really do like you know i mix all my mix all the formulations but i like to take everything from front to back and sometimes you have to let some of this type of stuff go because you can't be a control freak and if my company is going to grow like it's supposed to i have to have help but at the same time uh, i want to keep it the way I envisioned it, which is real products made by real people. Um, and so um, hopefully at some point when I get life sorted out and the spirits provide a place for me to have a physical location, I will. But until such time, Big Liz Conjure is still open. Waters are still on sale. I'm going to slowly make things available that I took off of the website due to the fact that I was going to be absent. I will also um, put up a course schedule, hopefully by the weekend, that will be for the month of April, okay? So um, I want you all to uh, be patient. If anybody sends me a nasty gram, I'm just going to send them a link to this video because I'm not doing this today and not now and probably not ever. So, um, you know, I, I wish you lived near me too, Faye. Um, but I'm grateful and I'm, I'm happy and, you know, once again, life is not perfect and there's not, and it's, and becoming a mambo or gone or any type of priest or priestess is not going to make your life perfect. It is going to enable you to be able to get through this life. This life is a test, a test for when you become an ancestor in the next life. So, um, it's all a test. Sometimes we pass them. Sometimes we just pass. Like, D's get degrees. That's how I was in college math. <laughs> Sometimes we really meet. Oh, excellent. Um, Shadow's working on the crystal grid class. And you can buy a crystal grid as part of that class. Um, and then, you know, sometimes when you finish a task... You, you know, you sometimes you can fail, and failure is not always a bad thing. It's still lessons learned. You can do it poorly. You can do it good. And sometimes you can really, really excel. And so I can tell you honestly that throughout all of this, I've experienced all of those levels. And um, I think that uh, it is important to anyone that seeks real spiritual growth, especially black people who have left the church and understand what our religions really meant to us and why they were taken from us. Um, and also the biggest lesson that I learned is spirit is universal. We all have cultural adaptations about how we address the energies that made us and keep us going. So, yeah. Don't, don't. I tell you. <sighs> Have a great day, y'all.